Shout out to go. He's been going, but then he gets messy. Are you gonna behave? Stay out of the gardens? Stay clean? All right, go ahead. Lots to do today. Work continues on the people barn. 100 sea monster chicks are coming tomorrow and we've gotta get the brooder ready. We never fixed our, our line yesterday to our electric fence. It's snapping and therefore grounding out. That's, all oh, this is priority. But first, the chores. I hear Teddy back up on the porch. Maybe that's the trick, just let you out a little bit. Come on, let's go outside. Good boy. Are you kids coming? Oh, you'd be grumpy, yes. You're getting all my stuff. Hey, all right, come on. It's Jonah's day to help with the baby. I've given up on Mr. Brown today. It's too cold. I don't want to mess with it. Been messing with it all week. I'm done. These start desperately need water. They're so dry. Look at that. Lucky dog. No, I just need the wand. Unfortunately, the wand is a lot more fun for the chiddlers than the fog at nozzle. Not in there. It wouldn't even fit in there. Why am I looking in there? Well, I'll be. Oh my goodness. Call the inquirer. It's around. Let's get this off. Let's get this on. Does this ever happen to you? I don't know where the wand is. I got it all set up. I don't know where the wand is. Where'd I put it? Put it over by my quick connect stuff. <laughs> uh -oh. All right, that's ready for mom when she wants to water her plants. We gotta get the chickens out. Go ahead. Now we get a pan, get the water out of the old sheep's trough, and that's your chicken's trough, and then we take that sheep's trough, and now it's today's new water trough. Now we're gonna pick up the old chicken net. Learn something new about this underground uh, electric wire from Premier One. Let's get to repairing that line in just a second. First, feed the big pigs. Slowly, they keep working up. They keep working it up. So you're almost halfway done, maybe. A third? I'm kind of in no hurry to move them. I kind of like this situation. Just let them keep tilling. It's easy to take care of them here. There's no harm in it. They end up having mucho food scraps and skim milk, so they need very little of that corn, so they're not digging like crazy. Question of the day, why aren't I just feeding food scraps to the three little pigs and letting them go at this corn? It's because of what I just alluded to earlier. I kind of like this system. I don't mind them going slow. And as for the feeders, I'm giving them the commercial organic new country because, you know, just make sure they grow really fast. There's no guessing. And here, this is kind of like a fail safe. If they don't get enough food scraps, well then they'll get some corn. And so, I don't know. I, like, I just kind of like this. I like the setting here. They've got shade. They're breaking down this compost even more. What Premier One said to do was run your line through this plastic in case something cracks. Protects it even more. And I think even if there's a crack, it won't ground out. So let's try it right here. Well, we like to never get that in there. I can see why now Premier is saying, put it through a three quarter inch pipe. This is a half inch. That's all we have right now. It'll at least get this situated and then we'll do the three-quarter for the rest. Let's pull this through. Better to have more slack at the top. You don't want to pull it out of the pipe, which I think I just missed. Maroon will hold it steady down there. There we have it. That'll be buried. We got it hooked up. Later we can bury this. I guarantee this is going to work because even though the plastic to the wire is broken in there, because it's in this plastic tubing, it's not gonna ground out. You guys hear it? I hear no snapping. You hear any snapping around? No. We fixed it. It's milking time, but we really gotta get those chicks set up. We got to, Josiah's string trimmer won't start. What's wrong with it? 
<laughs> in here, I don't think we have to do that much. I mean, we're pretty much ready. We got four inches or so below the rim there for this Dutch door. We got a nice deep bedding. We got a couple of feeders. Uh, water in. We should find the water. Maybe the five gallon waterer. Of course, we'll have to set up our Premier One hover or brooders. Uh, our heat lamp. That's going to be a little more entailed. Maybe Jenna can do that a little later with a, uh, I don't know where our power strip is. Where's the three gallon? Is that the three gallon? Yeah, get that small one. Perfect. So we're just going to wash that up a little bit. I'm going to go get the milk and supplies. That brooder is an example of 1% change every day, guys. We didn't always have a brooder, but once we build it, now we have it. And chicks are pretty much set up every year. No more. I wasn't prepared for these 7,500 chicks. It's, it's the chicks. One day early, they weren't supposed to come till tomorrow. So I'm not ready. So we gotta hurry up and go down there and get the brooder ready. I appreciate your business. You have a great day. Nice to you too. What's going on in here? The phone isn't working. Our landline. Oh. So I am, I called about that and then since I was already on the phone with them, I called about moving that pole again. Yeah. <laughs> A year later, it's still not done. Hey, little Henry. Mm. <laughs> you remember me? You remember me, big boy? You're getting so big. Well, there we go. We got one out. I think she's the one, the one here. Oh, she's from up there. Yeah. Okay. Well, then let's catch her and cl clip her wings. So, if those get out there, guys, we got to harvest them and feed them to the pigs. Because if if they start getting out of that net, and other chickens see them out of that net. To train them all to get out of that net. We have a saying, one fish make uh, all the fish, uh, all the water dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Does that chicken want to go back up to the yard or is it wanting to go back up with the pasture posse? It looks like it might be wanting to go back up to the yard. So maybe it is a yard chicken. Well, it's coming back. So I don't know. Yeah, look, I don't know if that's, if that's home over there. Maybe we'll just catch her right here since she won't let us hurt her. Oh, look, she does want to go back to the pasture posse. I went inside to get the shotgun and Rebecca I said, she said, the chicken's out? I said, yeah, chicken's out. She said, uh, I said, they'll teach the others to get out. She said, you're going to just shoot them all then? And yeah, all right. Well, do you want me to just try to catch it and put it in the pasture, in the yard posse, in Lily's posse? She said, yeah, and Jonah was like, well, you could switch it out. Yeah, that's a good point. So, she's hiding right in there right now. Jonah said he's got a net, so let's try that. A lot of good that did. She got back in the pasture pot. You see, it would have been a lot easier just to shoot her. A lot less time consuming. I came to get you guys. Now I don't know which one it is. Really guys? I think she's under there. Yep. I can't be sure which one it is. It's milking time. Watch this. Hey. Hey. Baby. Yeah. 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 Oh, you're funny. You're fun. You're fun. You're Bell's baby, so you're more gentle, aren't you? We got, we got a nice one here, huh? Now look, is he gonna follow me out of here? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Bell, for a gentle one. Kind of makes me wonder if we ought to castrate him, turn him into a wither, and that be Escalito's uh, replacement, because Escalito's just so crazy. We can't even get near him. If he becomes a wither, then he's like lifetime, lifetime on this farm. This is looking good. You plan on getting the rest of it closed in today? Yeah, I'm gonna try to. Can start on the door or is that next week? I ought to be able to start on them maybe if I can okay. get through this. Are these the tracks? Yep. Sweet. Those are heavy duty. Yeah, they are. You coming to the party this weekend? I'd say it's at five. Saturday, premiere. Potluck yeah. at five. All right. Movie at six. How about that? Sounds good. We'll, yep. we'll try to. If we don't get the door on, we'll probably 
tarp this or something to get some darkness yeah in there it's too bright randolph just said he could hang the track at least and then it'd be easier to hang a tarp i'm trying to look at this this is a big source of light uh we've got silage tarps we could figure out a way to just hang them without puncturing them or anything that'd be good this too maybe hanging a silage tarp over all of that because that's a lot of light right there well i had a time lapse up on this but it didn't look like it worked but Randolph got the rest of this done, didn't you? Well, almost. What's that board for? I'm gonna walk on it. Oh, all right. I can't quite get to this. Ah, oh yeah, you got one more piece right there. It is getting darker in here, bit by bit. What you doing? Picking grass for the, for the chickens. Ah, that's nice of you. If you want, we have a whole garden row that needs just to be Pulled up, you could give it to them too. Well, it, was, it, it was doing there. a lot worse than that. Yeah, it, it was, was loose right there. Brain. That was probably why. All right. Bypass the. That washer might be worn out in that too. Yeah. But it wasn't screwed on all the way either. You think he's asleep? He must be. He's happy to be along the right Why? Because he doesn't like it when he's awake in there? Nope. Oh no, he's just not do it if he is awake. All right, here we go. This is good stuff. Wait. U.S. wellness meats. Because we is can't it, is grow the couch here? absolutely every single piece of meat. So we supplement. You know what? We're not gonna unbox this here. Let's unbox it at the freezer and we'll show you the stuff as we put it in the freezer. Looks like beef. We won't, the beef supply is dwindling. We won't have a beef of our own until June. Does U.S. Wellness Meats, Rebecca? I mean, it may be obvious, but because the, of their name, but are they? Is it from the U.S.? Yes. The I meat is all sourced that. from the U.S. Look, I want to show them this though. This okay. is cool. This is. Is this bison elk. or elk? I got you elk. We and got I elk. Pre-made patties. Pre-made bison patties. I like it. Box number two. This is ground lamb. Here's your buffalo. Buffalo! The other stuff was elk. This is already in pre-made patties too. Save me some time. Anything that save yeah, me some time. This is South Dakota. 100% grass-fed buffalo. Elk. South Dakota. When you eat basically 90-95% of your diet meat, it's good to have a variety, wouldn't you say? And I don't think I'm ever going to grow bu buffalo or elk. Yeah. Is that pretty safe? Yeah. <laughs> We've got one more box, but let's, let's set some buffalo out. Box number three looks like an assortment. Hey, did you order these meat sticks I or did. they came to you? No, I ordered these. They beef? I want the kids to try them. I think they're nice. beef and pork. 100% cool. grass fed, grass finished beef. Did you get a dessert? I did. A brownie bomb? I got some. I didn't know they had brownie bombs. <laughs> it's a paleo. We need to try that right now. It's a paleo brownie Let's try bomb. It. It's got honey. Mac attack. <laughs> it's got what? It's, 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 it's like got very. It's sweetened with honey. So what is in there? This is some New York strip steaks. Nice. These are really nice looking steaks. I'm excited about that. They're actually on Ooh, sale. Ooh, bacon. Too. Then we got some bacon. It's sugar free. Sweet. It's a non-GMO. Sweet. Pasture raised. Cool. Um, and the one that's soy free, which they were out of, mm -hmm. is raised in South Carolina. Yes, we had to buy bacon because, well, I just haven't got around to, what do we do? Cure it, thaw it, cure it, smoke it. It's a process, so I gotta get around to it. Oh, uh, this is a leg of lamb. Oh, leg of lamb. Yeah. Yum. These are ribs. Oh, nice. I got some baby backed ribs, pork ribs, but then. Ribs are kind of like bacon, you can't have enough. I got some corned beef brisket. And it's already made. Mm -hmm. It's already corned beef. And she got some. Cream. You know this is not certified organic, it's 100% grass fed, raw, so you know we don't really care about certified, we just want yeah. good clean food and that would do it. We are going to save these coolers because we plan on saving hamburgers high come June. 
Yes. Did you find a source for that yet? Um, I have been researching. I have okay. found some places. Mm -hmm. I haven't de determined which place I want to use yet because right. I'm I'm researching them and I want to try to find one that's as non-toxic as possible. Yeah. And I actually had the idea today that I might contact some people that we know. Mm -hmm who like to do this type of thing. They're not professionals at it, but it's something that they enjoy and they know how to do it. Yeah. And just asking them, do you want to do this? Okay. Or I was like thinking, if there's somebody who teaches a class and wants to like teach on our hide, I just want it to be as non-toxic as possible because it's going in my kid's room. All right, let's finish watching Randy's video. Do you guys remember Randy when he- Inspiring. For me, he came during uh, the filming of Rooted, yeah. tech guy, and uh, everyone friend from the Great American Farm Tour. As you huff it through a pasture with that thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, he just had me go through his video before he made it public. Wonderful video. Hold on, let's get you guys on legs. Wonderful video. I thought he did a good job with it. Uh, I think you guys would enjoy checking it out and Randy's channel. A fellow sheep farmer up in Minnesota. He's one of my sheep mentors. He helped rescue uh, me and the slam situation that just happened recently. So thanks to Randy and uh, I would dare you to go check out his channel. I'll leave the link for that video with featuring us and the behind the scenes down in the description.